everyone, this is Jess from Cooks Marats, and today I'm going to teach you how to make fish and papillot. And papillot is just a fancy French term that means in parchment paper. Basically, it's a wonderfully simple and healthy cooking technique where you wrap fish or chicken in parchment paper. And then we make these airtight pouches and cook them in the oven and the steam in the pouches is what cooks our proteins to juicy and tender perfection. It can be made on a weeknight and it's a really fun way to get your kids involved because you get to do a lot of cutting and folding. It'll also really impress your guests for a fancy dinner party. Today we're going to make our fish and papillette with tilapia, a French vinaigrette, and some lemon and thyme. Let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how we make our parchment paper pouches. So the first thing we want to do is after we wash and dry our fish is we want to cut out our parchment paper. So here each piece of this, um, each of these pieces are about 18 inches wide. And then I fold them in half. I've had three stacked on top of one another since I have three fish fillets. So I'm going to create three different um, parchment paper pouches. If you're serving four, you want to um, cut out four. So I just, you basically are trying to cut out an angular heart shape. So this is again something that would be really great for kids to do. Um, kids, if you, they can operate scissors, they can help you cut out these heart-shaped parchment. All right, so we've got our sheet of parchment paper here. You just lay it out on your countertop, your table, um, cutting board, whatever you're working on. And then I'm gonna take a piece of our tilapia filet and just lay it on one side of our cut out heart. And then I'm gonna season it with a little bit of salt. You can use kosher salt, you can use sea salt, and some fresh ground pepper, okay? And then from here, I am going to just drizzle um, our French vinaigrette over it. I use a two to one ratio of oil to vinegar. Um, most people use three, but I use a little bit less oil and I put in a little bit of sweetener. Um, uh, in order to cut some of that art, that acid. And I also have some Dijon vinegar, a Dijon mustard in here, and some chopped shallots. So that's basically the components of a French vinaigrette. And then from here, I'm gonna put some sprigs of thyme, and then I'm gonna lay two slices of lemon. Okay, so from here, we're gonna fold this in half. And then this comes the fun part, and this is where kids can definitely get involved. We want to basically create an airtight seal around this, creating an airtight pouch. Um, so I want to create as many folds as possible around the perimeter of here. So what I typically do is I start from the, um, the kind of the pointy end of the heart, and I fold, I start my first fold by folding towards this center fold here. And I just keep on folding around the, the, the perimeter. So we're creating basically all these different pleats. So you just want to fold as much as you can based on the angle of your paper. And just kind of fold it in towards the, pro the, the center protein. Okay, just keep on going like that. So you just want to fold in towards the center and this folded half here. So from here, you want to maybe just check on some of these folds, make sure they're definitely fold as you can roll them in more if you want just to make them super tight this first fold I have I just want to I'm going to fold it up a couple more times to, to make sure that this doesn't pop open in the oven so we want to make it as airtight as possible so that's how our parchment paper pouches um, should look when we're done folding them just want to make sure they're all super tight okay and then from here you can just put this onto a baking sheet Okay, so now we have all our parchment pouches on this baking sheet. As you can see, we've got three fitting on here. You can easily add a fourth, so you probably, uh, if, you need, if you're cooking for more than four, you'll need more than one baking sheet. This is going to go in the oven at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. And you can turn the oven light on, you can see them puff up throughout the cooking process. And that's, that's when you know that you made some really good airtight seals. All right, I'm gonna pop these in and we'll be right back to show you what they look like when they're done. So as you can see, our fish and papilla are now out of the oven. I've opened up all the pouches and you can just smell all of the wonderful scents that are coming from the fish. We've got the lemon, the thyme, and of course our French vinaigrette. So you, can, so you saw that this was pretty easy to put together, right? So you, this can definitely be a weeknight dinner. There are barely any dishes. Get your kids involved and have them do some folding. They will love it. Um, but it's just as great for a dinner party dish. You can totally wow your guests by having them each get a little parchment pouch on their plate and they can open them up and see what surprise is inside for them. 
So super fun, super simple. I really do hope you use this very healthy, quick, and simple technique in your cooking repertoire soon. Um, thanks for joining us today. We're always looking to help you live happier, simpler, and smarter in your kitchen.